Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and this is Prestige 2 by Sergei Kola. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe? Check out onlinemagic.co. That's my online, of course, membership site. Uh, it was used to be a course, I used to call it a course, but there is so much on it now, it's ridiculous. It's quite overwhelming, but uh, it starts from how to hold a deck of cards, how to palm a coin, right up to advanced stuff, coins, cards, uh, even a bit of sponge balls now, a rope magic course, live sessions every week, loads of mentalism on there, and uh, all aspects of magic, including loads of special guests like David Williamson, Luke, Chris Rawlins, uh, Danny Goldsmith's been on there, Adam D. Gladwin, loads of other people. So do check out onlinemagic.co if you like this, you're going to love that. Learn from a pro, onlinemagic.co. So, I've had this for ages. Sorry, Sergey, for taking so long to get around to this. Like a lot of the stuff I get, I... I think subconsciously dismissed it a little bit. I looked at it and thought, it's not really for me, it's not really my style. And then when I got out and played with it, I kind of went, oh, actually there's a, there's a lot of potential for this. So very simply, it's a way to force an item out of five. So one out of five, they choose a number, and that item is a force item. So this has been used, if you see the trailer on the America, America's Got Talent, so you could force any item, you could have five different pictures, and the one that they turn, you show them that they're all different, and the number they've chosen happens to be a helicopter, as happened on America's Got Talent. And load, it's been on it loads of different um, times, and I can see why. So let's say you hold it up like this, and they choose uh, one, two, three, or, uh, four, or five. And let's say we're talking about magic reviewers. I've just thrown this together, it's ridiculous. So we've got different magic reviewers here, and uh, what do you want? Do you want one, two, three, four, or five? And that's going to be the best magic reviewer. There, so uh, let's say you say four. So we take four out, and uh, you say, I'm not gonna do anything. And uh, you don't say that, <laughs> I'm just telling you. And then you say, right, you, you could have chosen Craig Petty, Wizard Product Review, uh, Magic Orthodoxy, Fiddling Johnny, but of course you chose, chose your mum. Um, sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, so <laughs> that's the deal. And of course, each one of those is a completely free choice. It genuinely is, and it will also always force the same thing. So I thought, okay, I've been magician's head on and I was thinking, well, it's only one out of five items, that's not very impressive. There are ways to force, like with digital force bag, one out of a hundred items. And this kind of looks a little bit kind of big and, and happy and kind of, you know, great for kids shows and all that, I thought, but you can't really do much with it. It's not really my style. But then I had a gig uh, hosting a corporate event the other day. And when I was at that, I thought, actually, this would be really good for this because you can f you can make it a gag like a fun thing so in one of the performances on the download he says you're going to win you know one of five different objects um a holiday da -da -da -da, a few different things and someone walks on stage with all the things they could win and then the answer is a cuddle and he gives him a cuddle you know so it, you can do it a gag like that and it reminded me of uh, of dyson men you know tom uh, Tom Stone's thing, Tom Jones I nearly said then, <laughs> not Tom Jones, he didn't do it, that'd be a very different trick. Tom Stone's lovely hug and kill trick where you roll the dice and you, you take it out and you say, oh, you know, uh, hug, hey, hug, and then you, as you turn them over the rest say kill. So I think it's different enough for that, not, that's, it's a different thing this, but you can use it for a similar gag as they have done there. So you could have one really stupid one and one um, serious ones, all the other way around. You could have five boxes in front of you and you force one of them, they put the hand in it, bring something out and it's know, something nice and you reveal that in all the other boxes there's know, spiders and things like that. Not a hassle to set up, but you know what I mean, or something hideous. Uh, I even thought you could do a thing where you had smash and stab. So, you, you know, they all have things on them saying, uh, smash your hand down on everyone except a, B, you know, B, everyone except C, all that kind of thing. So again, I'm, I sort of haven't worked this through, but you can see that it isn't just, I'm gonna force an item, and that's very clever. There's loads of fun to be had with this. You could have, be, have a corporate event and have loads of different companies, and of course, force the company you're doing it for as the best company, or you could do a gag like I just did, but I wouldn't recommend it. You could have people that you've researched, so you have different people and you force a, the, the person or one out of five people on stage. You could have chairs, all that sort of thing. So I think 
you know, with a bit of thought, and I haven't put loads of thought into it, as you can hear, there's actually an awful lot you can do with this for a fun thing. So if you're emceeing or in a show, but you want to do something super easy and it is very, very easy, you have got to do nothing really other than set it up. And Prestige 2 is dry wipe. Uh, you can get a non-dry wipe one so you can and he tells you how to clean it off and it, it, it doesn't like super smudge like, like that. You can fold it up and it doesn't go everywhere. But he tells you how to clean it properly. And I think that's great because you can, you know, really customize this. I think, yes, great for kids shows, but great for sort of more sophisticated. So I'm not saying kids shows aren't sophisticated, but you know what I mean? Things that you, I wouldn't have thought this would fit into. But when my brain started going, I realized the potential of this, the fun that can be had with it. And I think when I said, oh, it looks a bit fun, you know, good, because it should be. Apparently on the early prestige, the numbers weren't printed um, and there was, uh, there was threads involved and stuff like that. So you had to do a little bit more. I think on the early one, there was a thing where you could show a visual change in it, which I think looked really, really cool, but it was a different trick. And I think what they've done is gone, right, how can we make this completely self-working, still powerful, versatile, but just taking all the heat off you. And for those of you that are starting out performing, stuff like this is a godsend, but it is also for people like me that want to try something new, that want to, and they have an idea. And, you know, we all know that if you do something for a company and they can see you've put the effort into customising something, even if the trick that you do after this force isn't amazing, they still really, really appreciate it. So I think this is great. I think it's easy, it's gonna last forever if you take care of it. And he does talk about this on the download. No, it's not the best thing in magic in the world, but I think it's very, very good. Other things, I think it would have been nice to have more than five, you know, like, so if you had six, you could have a genuine dice roll um, and do different things with that. And they could roll the dice a few times and kind of, you know, make sure it wasn't a, a stacked dice or anything like that you you could I suppose you could have even more and maybe they'll make them with more um it's not going to be for everybody if they're not doing that sort of thing if it might not fit he says it's good for close-up I think you could do it at a table but you're not really going to want to carry this around for close-up um and yes again you've got to be careful but if you look after it and he talks you through this you'll be totally fine not loads more to say about it um that's what it does. Just know how easy this is. And of course, angle wise, they don't want to see behind you as you do it, but you could even, you could kind of hide that as well. So if you had a slightly kind of, you know, like when I do street performances and things like that, festivals, if they're kind of curled around a little bit, you're going to be fine. But again, for close up, you're going to have to be a little bit careful. So thanks very much. Thanks, Sergey, for sending this to me. Sorry it took so long. Any questions you've got, I'm bound to have missed loads of stuff out. So I will talk about them or answer them on the next live session usually Thursdays but I'm all over the place at the moment what with it being summer uh, at time of recording so apologies for that and uh yeah I think that's it right have a good one take care onlinemagic.co and have a look at the links below take care bye